Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel. Let's talk about New Moon in Scorpio 2024. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Use the links down below to know more of my content and to get in contact with me for services. So first, New Moon in Scorpio, what is it? It means we are creating new emotions and feelings that go very, very deep within ourselves, within our memories, our privacy, our transformative situations, and also the, these new deep emotions are coming from or they are creating or related in some way with deep desires, deep passion, motivation, anger and frustration. But the thing is, last year there was a new one in Scorpio too, but it's different because the weights aligning with ourselves and the sky, it's different and we grow and change all the time as well. So let's take a look at this specific event in today's sky. Thank you for watching once again and let's get started. So we have new moon in Scorpio, fatal, no, not fatal attracting, conjuncting Mercury in Scorpio as well. So that means that how we communicate, analyze and socialize, it's going to be in the same perspective, the same realm as the new, as these new deep emotions and feelings. So communication with general public might be hindered but communication with personal, important and valuable relationships is going to be a bit more fluid. Or if it's not fluid, even if you clash some heads or if there is some misunderstanding, because it's a deep subject, it's a deep theme, the spirits will communicate more clearly between each other without using so many or so, so much sophisticated words. Right? But also it means that we might create new mental powers to understand deep subconscious patterns and some traumas, some things in the past that made us transform in a forceful way. You know what I'm saying? Moving on, Venus is in Sagittarius, so Venus is fatal attracting the new moon in Scorpio. So this means that we can bring new deeper emotions, new deeper passions or frustrations to our relationships when we are talking, relating, or valuing spirituality, creativity, uniqueness, visions, and imaginations that we care about sharing with others, or when we see somebody sharing something that is spiritual or creative that we value, we might associate and bring forward new deep emotions and feelings, or new deep passions and frustrations. Then we have Mars in Cancer, almost going into Leo, but let's assume quote-unquote is only in Cancer, so it's trining the new moon in Scorpio. So we have a gift to, through our passions and frustrations, refresh or get too comfortable or justify some bullshit because we feel a new deep way. We feel a new fixed and stubborn way. We feel a new fresh because it might be a new way that we are feeling, but about a situation that we had a grudge or an emotional fixation on, but because we have Mars in Cancer right now, you can bring forward a sense of refreshment, but it's not really refreshed. It's not really something new. Or you might, maybe you went to a new space, but because of the new moon in Scorpio, you are just bringing to that new space the same version, the same deep emotions and feelings that you had, but you're going to feel fresh or you're going to have the illusion that it's fresh because of Mars in Scorpio. But positively, it means that you can clear the waters if you have any grudges, if you have any traumas, any luggage or any emotion or feeling lingering with you from past circumstances. Now, it's a perfect opportunity to start the healing process and create new emotions and feelings to help you clear out the waters. Then we have Jupiter in Gemini, misunderstanding in conjuncting the new moon in Scorpio. So the way we are expanding our wisdom and knowledge, the way we are communicating and making sense and relating to others, our wisdom and knowledge and our spirituality is on a more logical and detached way. So that is making us or the world misunderstand our new, deep, powerful, intense and transformative emotions because it's not very clear how to communicate about those things. It's not very clear if we should or not be ex 
expanding on those new deep emotions because they are new, right? We don't really have a, a database to make these conclusions, but it's new moon, so we should be planting the right seeds. So even if you don't are not doing the right thing, how you doing it or the potential that you should be associating to these new moon in Scorpius, I want to expand on these new emotions and feelings in a way that makes sense it's logical, light, and I can associate that with others, right? Because even though it's a misunderstanding, even though it's an inconjunction, you can still go to the right places. You might take some detours or go through some weird roads, but you might still achieve the right place where you are able to expand how logically you make sense of spirituality, wisdom, and knowledge by paying attention and being in your new deep emotions and feelings. Then we have Saturn in Pisces training the new moon in Scorpio. So this means we have a gift to bring new consistency, stubborn or stuckness to whatever dream and illusion we were building in the real world through infrastructure, networking, association and how we use our routine and patterns to achieve a bigger situation. And the thing is, if you were already building your dream, great. Now you can bring more trust and confidence within yourself. You can bring more security and more consistency. But if you're building an illusion and something that you can't rely on, you're gonna go deeper and you're gonna bring more consistency and structure to that. And you don't want that, right? And this goes way deeper than this because Saturn in Pisces can be seen through a lot of lenses, but everything that deals with your dreams and illusions Everything that deals with your creativity and spirituality can now be connected in a real way, all right? And the new moon in Scorpio can help you just be more confident or more insecure, more private or more sure about those things. Make sure to plant the right seeds, make sure that you are building the right things with the right groups of people and with the right mentalities. Then you have Uranus in Taurus opposing New Moon in Scorpio. So that means if you're feeling any weird way, if you're feeling a lack of direction, make sure to look for something unique, new and rebellious, but at the same time is consistent, real, it makes sense and has the potential to be a valuable asset. And then use the new emotions and feelings, use the new passions frustrations and desires to go towards that or to feed you, energetically speaking, to create a purpose to keep going on those steps or to just, maybe you were already doing something, but you were not seeing it as valuable or unique or with the potential to bring you structure further in life. And right now, maybe you're realizing, oh, because it's an opposition, so it's right in front of you. And maybe you were looking at it from a weird angle. So now it might be just in front of you and it might just be what you needed to go deeper. Because like I said, maybe you were already in it, but now you can go deeper with New Moon in Scorpio. On the negative side, you just might feel new ways to be more private, insecure, and run away from that unique, physical, stable circumstance. Then we have Neptune in Pisces trining New Moon in Scorpio, a gift to create new anchors to big, grandiose dreams or illusions. Like the Saturn alignment, it's all about are you going for your dreams or going for some illusions and nightmares? Because the Pisces energy can keep a toxic situation, a nightmare, looking and feeling like a beautiful dream. And then that's the situation where you need to use the opposite energy of Virgo to make sure you are making sense and you are being efficient emotionally and energetically speaking. And lastly but not least, we have Pluto in the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn. And here we're going to use both energies because it has been there for a very, very long time. So Pluto on the Capricorn aspect, internal Saturn, sextiling, numerous Scorpio. So we have an opportunity to create new deep and fixed or stubborn emotions and feelings to help us anchor or transform past moments where we were forced to transform and create new businesses, new status, and new limits and boundaries. 
Pluto on the Aquarius side, the external side of Saturn, squaring New Moon in Scorpio. So we are learning how to use those deep emotions and feelings that we are creating right now that deal with our passions and frustrations to transform ourselves and how we think and communicate in a unique and logical way so we can expand and be a part of a big circumstance and of a big group but have our own purpose, have our own anchor, mind fixation and soul regulation. So you are not a bee in the hive, you are the bee in the hive. You know what I'm saying? And it's everything for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciating. That's how the new moon in Scorpio is aligning with the rest of the sky. So now you know how to do better and you can do better and even feel better and just see better as well. Thank you for watching. Use the links on below. And I see you next time.